Welcome to the Phase Conformance Test Suite Learning Series. This learning series is intended for those users who are interested in learning how to use the Conformance Test Suite, those who have experienced issues with the CTS, or want to develop with the Phase Technical Standard version 3. The CTS Learning Series contains high-level topics called chapters, which contain instructional videos. The intention is to provide instructions from setting up a CTS environment to successfully testing a FACE Unit of Conformance, or UOC. Each chapter will first provide an introductory video to introduce the topic of that chapter. Each video in each chapter will cover different, yet interconnected, information. At the end of each video, there will be a section describing the next video in the series. There is only one video in Chapter 1, which is this video. Let's get started. By the end of Chapter 1, the user will be able to understand basic background information required to use the CTS, understand the basic required inputs to test software with the CTS, understand the CTS's usage in the face conformance process, and understand the CTS's operation at a high level. The CTS is an essential tool in the effort for a software supplier to achieve face conformance for their UOC candidate. The CTS allows for VAs, or verification authorities, to easily test face conformance requirements that are machine testable. This greatly reduces the time required to investigate face conformance requirements within a particular UOC. It also allows the user to preliminarily test their UOC candidate while in development before formally submitting the candidate for verification. There are multiple versions of the CTS, as shown. The CTS corresponds to a major version number and corrigendum version number of the FACE Technical Standard. For example, for FACE Technical Standard 3.0, the CTS is named CTS 3.0. This is then followed by an update number, starting at 0, meaning initial release, and incrementing by 1 for each public release to the FACE consortium. The most up-to-date released versions of the CTS are found on www.opengroup.org slash FACE, Documents and Tools, FACE Publications, Conformance Test Suites. The CTS Learning Series will use CTS version 3 for all videos unless otherwise specified. The Conformance Test Suite consists of four tools to evaluate a FACE Unit of Conformance, or UOC, for conformance to the FACE Technical Standard. The tools include the USM IDL Generator slash DIG, which stands for Data Model to IDL Generator. IDEAL, the DMVT, which stands for Data Model Validation Tool, slash DAVT, Data Architecture Validation Tool, and the Face Conformance Application. Although this series is focused on using the CTS as a whole, it is important to understand the basics of the Face Technical Standard, Face Data Models, and how the CTS operates. This video will cover the basics of the technical standard, data models, and how the CTS operates, but more detailed information is contained in the CTS user manual and the FACE technical standard. The FACE technical standard defines architectural segments, interfaces, requirements of each software component of the reference architecture, and APIs required by a UOC. This also includes APIs that are not allowed to be used by UOCs. The technical standard also lists other specific standards that must be included for face conformance as required. Finally, the face technical standard defines a data architecture to ensure the data is fully described when communicated between software components. In order to achieve face conformance, the writer of a FACE UOC must perform the necessary steps in the FACE conformance process. 
This includes having a verification authority, or VA, to verify that the UOC is fully conformant to the FACE technical standard. This is an intensive process where the VA tests the UOC in question for allowed and disallowed APIs and interfaces via the CTS and via manual inspection, as some tests are not machine testable. After a VA has verified a UOC, the software supplier must submit their verified UOC to the FACE Certification Authority, or CA, and FACE Library Administrator to be fully FACE conformant. The CTS tests for conformance to the FACE technical standard where only required APIs are defined, implemented, and used based on the type of FACE segment the UOC is. The CTS also tests all requirements identified in the Conformance Verification Matrix, or CVM, that have the verification method marked test. Whether the UOC operates as intended is the responsibility of the software supplier. The CTS requires some artifacts to successfully test a UOC, a configured project configuration file, and a configured toolchain configuration file are required to test the UOC, while a UOP supplied model, said USM, is optional depending on the type of UOC. The toolchain configuration file, commonly said TCFG or toolchain, allows the user to define a target environment for a UOC to be tested against. The contents of toolchain configuration files and how to construct them will be expanded upon in future chapters. The project configuration file, commonly said PCFG or project configuration, allows the user to define UOC specific options such as interfaces used by the UOC. The contents of project configuration files and how to construct them will also be expanded upon in future chapters. For now, it is important to note that the user must define the directory for gold standard library generation, or GSLs, in the project configuration file. The FACE technical standard defines a FACE data architecture, which includes the idea of a conceptual, logical, and platform data model. The FACE Consortium provides an SDM, or Shared Data Model, which contains high-level conceptual model attributes, logical model measurements, and measurement systems. When required, the software supplier must create a USM, which defines conceptual and logical entities that can use the attributes, measurements, and measurement systems from the SDM to form the platform model. More information about constructing data models will be provided in later chapters and is already provided in the FACE Reference Implementation Guide, or RIG. Now that all required artifacts and background information has been explained, the operation of the CTS tools working together can be accurately described. When a USM is required, it is used to generate header files, which are utilized in some segment-specific tests. This is achieved by generating what is called the gold standard libraries. To do this, the CTS invokes the USM IDL generator slash dig to convert the USM into IDL or interface description language. Then, the IDL compiler is invoked IDEAL generates data structures and typed interfaces based on the user's selected options in the project configuration file. Finally, the FACE conformance application constructs header files based on the typed interfaces that were generated by IDEAL and the selected interfaces from the PCFG. These files are generated in the directory where the user specified the GSL directory to be. The user must then write definitions to the generated header files. These are called factory functions. After the factory functions are defined, the user must 
provide their location to their PCFG file. To test for conformance, users can press the arrow at the top right of the Project Configuration Builder. This first invokes the DMVT slash DAVT, which checks the USM for correctness. Then, the CTS performs all conformance tests and produces a conformance test report. The CTS also contains a feature to run conformance tests via command line on both Windows 10 and Linux. Both using the graphical user interface and command line are equivalent in function. How to operate the CTS via command line will be detailed in future chapters. Thank you for watching. This concludes chapter one of the FACE CTS learning series. In the next chapter, Environment Setup and Installation on CentOS 7 and Windows 10, we will discuss the installation environment of, download of, and the successful start of the CTS.